Howdy y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Marina and I do mobile home living. You have made it to the hot mess side of YouTube. Over here we make a lot of mess, but we always clean it up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love my kids, I'm thankful for my kids. Thank you Jesus for my kids. In their defense, I haven't had a vacuum to clean out under my couch in three weeks so this is three weeks right here three weeks worth of stuff this is why when i first got my couch i was on it constantly cleaning under the cushions because i knew this is what it would look like if i didn't so yep that that's that's cheese stick <laughs> how many other mamas have you know on youtube that would show you a daggone cheese stick in their couch First of all, I don't know why it's there because A, nobody in this house leaves a cheese stick uneaten. We love our cheese sticks. B, I don't remember the last time we had cheese sticks. <laughs> Anyways, so today's video is going to be kind of short because I have been keeping a secret from you guys. Shane and I have been working on a huge butt project. I mean, the biggest project we have ever done on this channel. It's fancy, y'all. And we just got it finished. I have been so, even on Instagram, I've been so secretive about it. I've hinted at, you know, doing a, a DIY and stuff like that. But nobody knows the magnitude as wi of which we've done it. It is amazing. So, this video is going to be a little bit shorter than normal. I usually never go under, well, I rarely go under 20 minutes. But, it's for a good cause. Because hopefully I'll have that DIY video up tomorrow. I'm not trying to be gross or anything. But look, I just blew this out of my nose. And all of a sudden I can breathe out of it. Oh my gosh, that's an alien. Look how thick that yeah, is. Yeah, I know, thicker than a snicker. But I can breathe through it now. Well, that's kind. Okay. You think that was clogging up? Is that a piece of your brain? I usually clean underneath my cushions and underneath the couch once a week on Saturdays. Where I haven't had a working vacuum, I haven't done neither. I should have done under the couch, but I haven't. When I clean under my couch weekly, I get the most hate in the world over what's under my couch. So let me stop you right here. Stop, stop, nope, you don't. You are officially, I just wanna make it clear, just in case anybody doesn't doesn't realize already after what you've seen underneath my cushions just want to make it clear in the nicest way possible you have made it to the hot mess side of YouTube this is a black hole it just goes it keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going so just in case you don't know you're on the hot mess side of YouTube honey honey pie you are um, and I would love if you would stay 
But if you can't, I understand. Sometimes I want to I want to run away from this too. <laughs> so just wanted to preface because I get a lot of oh my gosh whenever they, people see underneath my couch. I'm just want to prepare you so you're not hit like a freight train. But my regulars, they know what time it is. <laughs> They've done prepared themselves all week for this. <laughs> I look so lost. I look so lost looking for my broom. <laughs> when your house is so messy, your broom runs and hides. <laughs> I found it back there. It, it's hiding in the corner. It done put itself in time out to get out of this. <laughs> this ain't even my broom. Oh, I found her. She's about to let the dustpan take the butt end of the stick. Get it? <laughs> butt end of the stick. Alright. Let's go, Doris. Let's show us what you made of. So while cleaning, I wanted to also show you guys some pieces I've incorporated into my home decor. This rug being one of them, this rug, <laughs> it's a unicorn. It's not actually called that. I think it's like angel eyelash or something. It's from Lowe's, probably the easily the nicest rug I've ever owned, but it's white. I think I'm crazy. It has some, it has some beige in it, but y'all know my normal people, my buddies on here that are on here every video. I don't know. Y'all could probably tell me better than I know how many rugs I've had to get rid of because of unidentified um, stains and stuff from my dog and from kids and so I don't know what came over me but except for you know I don't look at Pinterest a lot because Pinterest can it can like give you ideas but it can also put you in a hole and Pinterest wants to label me as farmhouse but I'm like farm I'm a little bit of everything I'm not just farmhouse like I've got a marble toothbrush holder in my bathroom right my farmhouse looking bathroom right now I just go with what I like so Pinterest can put you in a box sometimes but I saw one of these on Pinterest and I was like I gotta have that so I do have a carpet cleaner just if I get to talking about getting rid of this rug y'all hold me accountable and be like no no ma'am you spend enough money on that to make that a I, I adopted it. We're, I adopted this rug. It can't. I can't rehome it. <laughs> this industrial lamp came from Amazon, and I'll have it linked down below. I got one for my nanny as well because she fell in love with it. It is so pretty. It just it. I'm going to take those shelves down on the wall that I. You guys will see the wall that I put it on here in a little bit. I'm going to take the shelves down off of it because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you why you'll find out why um, but I'm gonna take those shelves off and put it there and that way it's kind of simple I don't like too much clutter on my walls and I have found myself trying to put something on every single wall I don't like that cracker barrel look it's like everything's on the wall so I want to keep it just simple and comfy and cozy
I got these curtains from DG, the Dollar General. Um, I'm eating chips. I'm on a low carb diet right now. I'm eating these Quest chips and the chili bomb. What am I doing right now? Okay. Um, I got these curtains from Dollar General. I don't recommend them and you'll see why. If I keep these, I'll either have to get blinds or like some shears or maybe go back and see if they have any more on the clearance. They were $10, so they were pricey for half a curtain. I mean, I'd, I wouldn't have paid $5 if I had known they were half curtain. I also had spoken a little bit on Instagram about looking for a new comforter because like the comforter I got, I think I got at Ross. Yeah, at Ross, it was peeling like crazy and oh, it was messing. I was like making me go into a sensory overload. So I just got one of those plush blankets from Walmart. We used to do that anyway a long time ago and it worked out good. But this is just simple. I just some a little bit of changes to the bedroom. It looks nice. Definitely not a bedroom, a bedroom makeover. Y'all will see that soon though. Okay, this video has been super short, probably my shortest video yet, and to the point because me and Shane, Shane and I have been working on the biggest project I have ever done on my channel. It'll be up tomorrow. I'm excited to show you guys this, but also like extremely exhausted because it was a project, wasn't it? It was a huge project. So, stay tuned for that tomorrow. I'm the most excited to show you guys this project. It turned out like, hope y'all have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but... Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all tomorrow.